Hi guys. Okay, so um I just wet my hair. But um the reason I did that is because I wanted to make a just a hair talk video and just tell you a little bit about my hair. Um so this is what it looks like when it's just wet and like my hair has been up in a bun for like two days and I just haven't done anything to it because I haven't really gone anywhere. Um and it, I mean, it has some leftover products from my uh, last braid out, but there's not really anything. I mean, it's kind of dry. <laughs> yeah, it's dry and it's it needs some moisture. So I'm gonna do a co-wash and then do another braid out, and that's gonna be another video that I post. But um, for right now, I just wanted to do some hair talk and just talk to you about my hair. Um, I don't really know what the texture of it is. Um, Okay, well, first of all, my ha my hair texture is very strange because it's kind of different all over my head. Like in the back, um, I don't know if you can see, but the, I don't know, the curls are a bit like tighter. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like they're really tight and kinky in the back of my hair. Then when you get to the front, it's like... You see this kind of stuff here, that business? It's more like wavy and weird. Then the roots of my hair is really what gets me. The roots of my hair is like so thick. So thick. Um, and it's a really weird curl pattern. I don't even know how to describe it. But, and then like when I flip my hair over, you can kind of see like where it's barely even wavy. I don't know. Um, I don't really know why it's like that. Um, I had chalked it up to heat damage and possibly color damage because I had like a, a lighter color in my hair previously, but um, I don't know. My color's going back out, and I also had put in a rinse after that, like um, around Christmas, I guess. So, um, but that's pretty much coming out too. But my color. My roots are growing out, so you can't, you can't even tell it now because my hair is just really dark. But when I'm in the sun, you can see the lighter color coming back out, but that's the side of the coin. So, um, yeah, and also the ends of my hair. Like, some of my ends are really nice, and some of them are just, like, barely there. And I would not be able to find, like, a straight piece right now. But you know how when you have, like, heat damage and color damage, you have those straight pieces at the ends? That's what my hair does a bit, so... I just decided it was heat and color damage, and I've been trying to like nourish it and treat it better, but I mean, I guess it just takes time. That's kind of one of those pieces. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of straight and weird, but uh, my hair is also extremely dry right now, like I said, because I haven't done anything to it, so it definitely needs some TLC from me. Um, but my hair has always been um, long. Um, it's at the longest part the longest part, <laughs> the longest it's been is probably like almost touching my butt, like lower back. And um, that was when I was a bit younger. And then as I got taller, like my hair, of course, isn't touching my back or touching my butt anymore. But it's always been at least mid back. But when I was in 10th grade, I chopped my hair off. And I think I mentioned this in another video. But I chopped my hair off to like um, up here. And biggest mistake of my life because I hated it so much and I regret doing that. But, um, I mean, it's grown back out since then, but it was just a huge mistake. And so now I, like, I really don't cut my hair. I trim it sometimes, but I don't trim it often because I don't. I'm just, and I hate going to salons because they like to chop your hair off as well and I don't want my hair chopped off. So, um... And that's also when I started doing my hair myself because, um, which at the beginning probably was a bad idea because I decided to chop my hair off, but um, I like doing my hair myself now because I know my hair and I know like what I like and I like to keep it that way. Um, but when I was younger, my mom used to do my hair all the time. Um, I guess I should talk about my, my journey to natural. I got my, I was natural until the summer before eighth grade. That was when I got my first crack, cream crack, 